Hey, welcome back. It is TVU's Most Wanted. I am Jared, and Wolves at the Gate, as promised, on the show today. First time you guys have been on TVU. How you, how you doing? Good. Very good. Great. Good. Doing well? First time on yeah. TV. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really, first time ever on TV. Yeah. I guess, you know, I guess that's something when you think about it, not a lot of people get the chance to be on TV. No. Yeah. Is it everything you expected it to be? More. It's kind. Of, it's kind of a letdown, isn't it? That's what you were gonna say. It's really actually a letdown. This is kind of lame. Yeah. So we didn't call each other today, but how did the flannel end up happening? Because see me, I didn't see you guys all day, but you guys are like a band. Did you call each other about the flannel, or how did that happen? Any communication. I don't think no, we have no, to. It's just yeah. insane. It's a it's yeah. a nasty day. Like every Monday morning, just, I call yeah. Steve and yeah. find out what exactly he's wearing. Right. And you just set up the, the wardrobe oh, yeah. for the week. It's exactly. like yeah. we just don't want to wear the same color. We know we're gonna wear flannel. Yeah. <laughs> All we <laughs> have is flannel. flannel so. That's amazing. That's amazing. All right. Well, you guys just released your brand new EP. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. That was a few weeks ago. Talk about. Uh, how the album release went, how it's been going so far. It was good. We had a CD release show in Cedarville on the 26th of January. 29th. 29th, sorry. He was there. Close enough. I, I think I was there. <laughs> yeah. sorry. He was there on the 26th, yeah. then nobody showed up. He was like, mm. was like wait, oh, OK. Yeah, that was good, though. We had a lot of people there. Um, we sold a lot of CDs and just had a really good time. Some of our good friends played with us. So That's good. Good. Yeah, and did you guys do anything show. special for like the day your album came out? Right? This is 31st of January, right? Mm -hmm. Did you guys do anything awesome that day? Yeah, I, I worked. Mm -hmm. it was great. I, I drove to New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. OK, all right. Yeah. That so, sounds fantastic. Celebratory drive back to mm -hmm. the promised land. On so. your drive to New Jersey, did you listen to your guys' new EP? Uh, yeah, I did listen to it once. All right, all right. And, and I think I actually talked to you on the phone, too. That That's day. right, yeah. yeah. You called in, because the day that your guys' album released, you guys were on my show. Jeremy, you were on the show. And we called you, because you were heading into surgery. Yeah. Uh, yeah how, did, how did that go? It was everything that I ever wanted out of surgery. <laughs> <laughs> everything works. He can breathe uh, I can breathe out of my left nostril. That's like good. I, I've never been able to do that that well. Never. You've never you just... Not proficiently, no. <laughs> and... Uh, I have cool pictures of the stuff that was up in my nose as well. So. Oh my gosh. Dude, we need to talk more about surgery. <laughs> that needs to happen. <laughs> Hanging out with Wolves at the Gate. So, Steve, you had surgery. What did you have surgery on? Uh, the official term was a septoplasty for my deviated septum. That sounds very technical. It was. Uh, There's a lot of chisels and mallets and sledgehammers. clamps, sledgehammers. <laughs> they just stuck them up your nose? Yeah, so Thor like... showed up and he did a little work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> was this your first time having surgery? Uh, I actually had my tonsils and adenoids removed when I was in second grade. Okay. And but I really don't remember that. I, yeah, remember... I don't think tonsils really count. That seems pretty no. easy, right? Yeah. Lots of people have those. Yeah. No, I can... thinks they I mean, count. In a way, I wrote a will, a living will, when I was in second grade. <laughs> when you were in second grade, yeah. you were like, here's. I, I thought I was I done. I want Jeremy to have my yeah. Power Rangers, yeah. and yeah. my oh, blanket's definitely going to Colin. Oh. Jeremy wasn't allowed to have Power Rangers. <laughs> I knew that. Jerry, can you tell us why you weren't allowed? I was homeschooled. When I, I was all the way up until college. I was no Power Rangers for you. Until college, and then you until really broke college, loose. Yeah. Like, you can watch Power Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> Look yes. how cool he is today. Marathon. He's a testament to the homeschooling. <laughs> to the so homeschooling. you've never had surgery before, technically. I mean, I don't think I don't think tonsils count. Let's talk. Like, how was surgery? How how did it go? Uh, it it was pretty uh, it was pretty rough because I watched a video on YouTube afterwards to see what they actually did. And they gave you a video of no, your surgery. No. <laughs> I'm glad that, what if they posted on YouTube and never showed it to me? This random guy, check out like, the surgery. We, look at how we just dominated this guy's face. <laughs> no, I watched the video and it was just funny watching the people's faces because they're just like, just like, just getting like knocked on the whole time. Oh gosh, that's oh. terrible. And there's like clamps and he's pulling out bones and he goes, oh look at this and puts it on a tray. And he's like, he asked me afterwards, he's like, did you want me to save them? And I was like, for a necklace, yes. <laughs> But he did How it. manly are you if you're wearing pieces of like your nasal cavity your on a necklace? Bones. Yeah. Oh, probably not. Yeah. Maybe if I got it from like a bat, like a 300 battle, maybe. <laughs> but. but surgery went okay, yeah. and it's all good to go, healing up well. You're not gonna not be able to sing ever again, right? That's not gonna affect it. He's no, still, still in the band. Yeah. So, so far. He's still here. As so, so far as you guys so know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, well, we got more talk with Wolves at the Gate coming up. Don't go anywhere. It is TVU's Most Wanted. Wolves at the Gate on the show. Their new EP, We Are the Ones, is out. If you want to pick it up, shop.tvulive.com. And you guys can get physical copies of that EP as well, right? Sure. Where you can get the physical copy. 
our Big Cartel page, which okay. is wolvesatthegate.bigcartel.com. Okay. Can you right get now. the link through Facebook and all that stuff as Absolutely, well? Absolutely, yep. yep. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Let's talk a little bit about the EP. Now, is this your guys' first release? Have you guys had any other music that you've released before the new EP? Or? We had a few demos on iTunes okay. before, um, but that was a year or two ago. So this is our first, like, legit real thing that we've been doing. So, okay. Yeah. When did you guys record the album? How did that go? Tell me tell me about uh, you know making it. That was we started back in the beginning of June actually and we recorded mm -hmm. for about 3 months. Wow. It took okay. a, uh, I, like yeah, part of the reason why it took so long is <laughs> cuz of the availability of uh, you know the producer who who took care of all the recording for us, but also at the same time like we spent a lot of time on just everything that we could. Mm -hmm. Just cuz you know Tyler Smith the guy that produced it for us, he was willing to take the time to do that, and he didn't charge us any extra for it. You know, he was just like, "Let's make this really good." So everything, yeah. you know, if it felt if it felt a little weird, he'd do it over. If it felt awesome, we tried to make it better. So it was just that's cool. It was a really cool experience. He was on tour too while he was mixing it, so it okay. was a lot of emailing from the road and things yeah. like that, which just kind of slowed it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, right. it turned out well. Now, when you guys went in to record, did you have everything that you wanted already written, or did you write while you were in the studio? Uh, I know a lot of times when bands tell me about recording, they're like, yeah, we took 80 songs in and like 10 <laughs> songs come out for the album. So like, how did that work out for you guys? Well, we had a bunch of songs yeah. before going into it. We just like kind of voted on what we wanted to be like, what would be on We Are The Ones. And it was cool because there was a lot of things like the title track of the EP that wasn't done. Uh, there was like vocals that, that weren't like totally done yet and because we're toying between like different ideas and... It was just cool because a lot of stuff came together because we saw like how the song was forming, but everything was already written. Okay. Yeah. So by the time you got in the studio, you could just kind of bust out recording the parts yeah. and working yeah. on that mm -hmm. stuff. Was, I mean, there's always a little bit of experimenting, like, oh, this right. doesn't work with that, but yeah, for the most part. That's cool. Yeah. Now, I, I have to ask, what happened to all the other stuff, the stuff you didn't use? You just put that oh, in the we're closet we're saving and wait? It. Yeah. Saving it it's, up? It's, it's going to be Disney released Bowl. at some point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a, a couple of bands that told me that you can actually try and sell those to other bands. You should just go to other bands and say, hey, you want a song? Here you go. <laughs> we, <laughs> sell it. We'd probably have to pay them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't we, pay us. Like, what, what take a lot of convincing. Here's $100. Can Wolves you play this song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Again, the EP is out, and if you want to pick that up, shop.tvulive.com is where you you can find it. Now we have the world premiere of the Herald's video coming up, so make sure you don't go anywhere.